This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at an exam overview for the higher level. The IB Chemistry exam is made up of three papers, paper 1, paper 2 and paper 3. The weighting is 20% for paper 1, 36% for paper 2 and 24% for paper 3. If we look at the weighting of objectives, we can see there's an equal split between objectives 1 and 2 and objectives 3. We'll take a closer look at the assessment objectives in the next slide. In terms of duration, paper 1 is 60 minutes, paper 2 is 135 minutes and paper 3 is 75 minutes. Next we look at the assessment objectives. Assessment objective 1 are the easiest and 3 are the most difficult. Here we can see some examples of the command terms for assessment objective 1. For example, we have define, draw, list, measure and state. For assessment objective 2, we have apply, calculate, describe, distinguish and estimate. And for assessment objective 3, we have analyze, compare, deduce, demonstrate and determine. As we can see, the level of difficulty increases from assessment objective 1 to assessment objective 3. Next, we'll take a closer look at papers 1, 2 and 3. So starting with paper 1 which is worth 40 marks. In paper 1 a data booklet and calculator are not permitted. However students are allowed to use a periodic table which is given on the inside front cover of the exam paper. The paper 1 exam consists of 40 multiple choice questions of which 15 are common with the standard level. This gives a total of 40 marks. Each question has 4 possible answers of which 1 is correct and no marks are deducted for wrong answers. Next we look at paper 2 which is worth 90 marks. Paper 2 is made up of short answer and extended response questions. The questions cover the material in the core and higher level syllabus. In paper 2 a calculator and data booklet are allowed. And finally we look at paper 3. Paper 3 covers questions on core, high level and option material for a total of 45 marks. Paper 3 is divided into two sections. Section A has one data based question and several short answer questions based on experimental work. Section B has short answer and extended response questions from one option. This means you should only answer questions from one option that's either A, B, C or D. And in paper 3 a data booklet and calculator are allowed. So that's all from this video. In the next video we'll be looking at some hints and tips for papers 1, 2 and 3.